In this demonstration, we'll show the users how easy it is to use the new product, the Easy Film Analysis from MoldX 3D. We first take a look at this part, and then we go ahead and run the analysis. We can define a specific gate point. There could be one, or could be multiple on this particular part. In this case, we're going to define one at this particular point, and then we're going to go into the analysis setting. We can look at all these different type of settings from the source, the polymer, the supplier, and the grade name, and then we can go ahead and initiate the analysis. And using the analysis, what it will go through is it will define all the properties of that we set, and then from there, it go in there and analyze based on the complexities of the part and create analysis of the results. So now it is going through and capturing all these different points and locations, and then once this anal analysis is done, we can go ahead and review the results. So now let's take a look at the results. So in the result display, we can see that there's a variety of different settings. We can go ahead and change the intervals to 100, which is the maximum. We can run it, and uh, we can see that how the, uh, the flow of the material is through the part. And then we can review that at a different angle and see if there's anything or any area that we need to highlight or capture. So we look at it from the cover at the top. We also can look in from the bottom of the part and once again rerun the analysis. After this is done, we can also look at potentially where um, this part could have some air trap locations. So we can see from all these bubble definitions that uh, these are the areas could be, um, air could be possibly trapped. And then we can also look at the well line as well. Then we can look at through each one of those from gate contributions to uh, pressure drop to mill front temperature to maximum temperature to average temperature, so on and so forth. So as we go through each one of these functions that we can see that there is a result of each one of these analysis that's been defined through the uh, uh, properties that we have defined for this part. So now as we see all these, these are the um, functions that within a particular uh, part that as we define a single gate, um, that concludes our uh, presentation.